morning. It is the 29th, nonstop November. I'm a sweaty mess. Yo, yo, I'm so sorry, guys. You all catch me normally when I'm a sweaty mess. But, you know, girl got to get her workout in. She got goals, all right? So, you're going to catch me half the time being a sweaty mess. But know that I'm a sweaty, sweaty mess for a reason. So, I hope you're having a great Thursday. Uh, it was a long day for me yesterday. My boy did really well in wrestling, so I'm very proud of him. And uh, I got to get my workout, so I'm just coming back from my workout. I did some, I was on the tread. I already did my weight training and I was on a treadmill, so this is what you get. So I was, you know, doing my normal browsing on social media and um, I'm, I, I don't even know what to say about this topic because truly I feel very ignorant on the topic. So it's just really an observation because I don't really have a well thought out. I'm, I still haven't had my mind wrapped around this whole, I guess, I don't know if it's a phenomenon or what, but there's this thing now called black fishing where mostly white people but I will say people who aren't black or aren't African American are tanning themselves and doing things mainly women but doing things so that they look more ethnic and like catfishing but black fishing so men black men will I guess go in their DMs and all this stuff and then I, I was, I didn't get to see the whole video, but put it in the comments if you've heard about this and there are people, Asians, other ethnic groups that are doing things to their hair so that it looks nappy, it looks more like 4C black hair, what we would traditionally equate hair texture to black people because we all know that you know you can be as dark as me and have texture that is you know a lot looser how we categorize you know not tightly coiled hair right so I saw it cemented had a video I I, I didn't get to see the whole thing because I was in route and busy but there was this Asian guy and you know I mean typically Asians have very bone straight hair and watch this guy go through this whole transformation so that then his hair was was nappy uh, I guess that's a form of black fishing so I'm thinking to myself what is that all about and on the one surface I'm thinking you know people are all trying to do something different and people are, you know, tr trying to get noticed. And then on the other hand, the okay, the first thing I thought to myself is, it's human nature to want something that you don't have, or to to be something that you that you aren't. You know, uh, brunettes want to be blondes and. You know, people with curly hair want bone straight hair. Like, there's a human nature part where people are never, oh, never satisfied with what they've been given innately. And I think the same holds true, while in some cases, because it's so funny to me that here it is, I have 4C hair. And I'm just gonna be honest, when it when it comes to hair and all that stuff, you know, there's certain things that I gave up a long time ago. Like I just decided I'm not gonna go against the current when it comes to my hair. And you know, I understand women's plight, workplace and all that stuff. I've gone through it, lived through it. But there's a point where I feel change what you want. If you're not happy, change what you want. But I do feel like there has to be a point where you have to be okay with whatever cards you've been dealt with. And 
and I got to that place a lot sooner sooner than others now if you don't ever want to touch your hair in this natural texture and you want to be weaved down that is totally your prerogative but I just find it funny that there are there's a sector of people that are clamoring to have the hair that has grown out of my head since birth and that's now the end thing and weaves is you know a, a multi-million dollar I'm gonna assume billion dollar industry that has capped captured people of color to to you know have straight hair or you know relaxers and things like that and I'm baffled there's a part of me that is baffled and there's a part of me that goes well you know it's a fat like anything else you know me personally I have always been I always felt like I had the best of both worlds if I want to straighten my hair I can I can chemically straighten my hair or I can just take a good old-fashioned hot comb and just change the texture of my hair no problem uh, I, I my hair has serious snapback it says you know I mean I, I can I can um, straighten my hair with heat and then look like a chia pet <laughs> you know with some water and my hair can shrink down to two inches and I can pat that thing down to one inch and I can braid it down where my hair is now stretched to six inches you know so I've always loved the fact that my hair has had that versatility so you know people want to do things to their hair I guess so the problem lies where you know where does where does this culture vulture you know the these terms that people use um, appropriating the culture culture vulture all that stuff where does that tip the line toe the line because a lot of people feel that way but yet it never seems like we're not people of color is not misappropriating or appropriating the culture when we change the texture of our hair it's always well I just want to do something different but if you know if Kim Kardashian has cornrows she's appropriating the culture is it is it true is that true I mean obviously we it, it's deeper than that you know we think that someone is appropriating the culture when they want to go and package what we've been doing for for centuries right that's that's wrong I mean give, give credit cite your source give credit where credit is due you didn't come up with the cornrows but do we have a lockdown on all of these things now because the way social media is and our world is now opened up you know there are other cultures that have the same thing I will say you know I remember the first time I saw a white guy with with dreadlocks and I was like he looked like a unicorn to me because I never even thought that a white person one would want to do it two that they could even do that with their hair and three does his family feel the same way like a lot of our families do about certain hairstyles like you know I come from a, a time where you know our grandmothers would never ever walk out with their hair in a natural state because of their time period you would straighten your hair we don't have that anymore although there are some family members that do not like you know I have sister locks and I know in in my family there were certain members that didn't care for it even though my hair is always you know well kept wash it all the time I style it all the time um, but the idea of my hair being in that kind of natural state was a no-go so I'm just putting this out there I'm not having a, a real deep conversation because you know 10 minutes does not justify a serious topic because there's so many ways you can go with it, but 
put in the comments about this phenomenon of black fishing and other cultures trying to get their hair nappy and most of us in 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 the black culture I don't want to say most but there are people in the black culture that would not get caught dead with their hair being nappy I mean I know the natural movement is there and I I love it um, but I realized that unlike people who are doing something they can they can still assimilate in the world and their hair isn't isn't a political statement isn't a statement of what society deems as beautiful I realize that people there are people that do not find my hair beautiful I on the other hand don't care so I choose to do what works best for me and be you know everybody else can kick rocks so let me know what you think about this phenomenon is this the first time you've heard of this about this black fishing and about this phenomenon of, of other cultures trying to get black would we say black hair texture let me know and how do you feel about it have you ran into it and am I late or is this something that's been going around and I'm just late on on the train all right so uh, non-stop November take care of yourself have a great day it's sunny here in Northwest Indiana Chicago and uh, yeah I'll talk to you tomorrow bye